Hi, solving math is better, but knowing maths is better than the best. Maths को solve करना एक अच्छा होता है, but maths को जानना और समझना बहुत अच्छा होता है. Are you maths illiterate or maths literate? क्या आप maths solve करते हो और maths को जानते हो? 99.9999% जनता I know cannot solve this question. They can solve a lot of questions, but they are actually maths illiterate. उन्हें पता नहीं होता है कि इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व कैसे करते हैं बहुत बार उन्हें समझ में नहीं आया कि क्वेश्चन लिखा हुआ क्या होता है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट योर लिटरेसी इन मैथ्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव थ्री डॉट्स 1 2 3 सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट नो देयर हाउ मेनी डॉट्स इन मैथ्स ओके से वी हैव ए एंड बी आर द टू नंबर्स और द टू डिजिट्स so the first dot is at the bottom. We have A and B are the two numbers. Second dot is just between A and B. We have A and B are two numbers. Third dot is above. That is the first is the at bottom, then between, then above. And when we have A and B are the numbers with the decimals and the point and one dot is here. So we have one at the bottom. Second middle, third, top, and fourth, one in the middle, one in the top. So you must know the functionality and the meaning of these four dots. So dots is important, like aapne suna hoga, nukta se khuda juda ho jata hai, even in Urdu, the importance of dot, that is nukta is too much important. If you write in Urdu khuda, and you change the nukta, that is dot, it becomes juda. So, dot has importance in language as well as maths. If you have dot at bottom or top pe dot hota hai, I write 6 dot bottom 5 or 6 top 5. This is nothing but decimal. You must remember, if you have a dot b bottom or a top b is nothing but a decimal. So, it's a notation of decimal. So, here it's dot is the decimal so it's zero point something okay so what is this middle value have you heard a this and a this have you seen anywhere Ye dono aapne dekha hai. this one is termed as the cross product this one is termed as the dot product if you write dot in between it's termed as the dot products in the physics and here we are not discussing the physics so we say both are the same but in physics Cross product and the dot products are two things. One is the for the scalar, one is the for, for the factors. So since we have discussing the scalar quantity in maths, all numbers are the scalar quantity. So either we write a cross b or we write a dot b. Both are the same. So if you write a dot in between, it is nothing but the multiply. Ye multiply hota hai. So we learn three things. One is bottom is the decimal. Top is the decimal. If you write in between, it's multiply. So it's written what? It's written 18 multiply 0 point and what's the meaning of the 4 above dot if you have a point system a decimal system and you're writing anything above this one is nothing but reoccurring so if you're writing in a decimal if you write dot in the above it's nothing but a reoccurring and reoccurring is nothing but 4 by 9 if someone is writing 0.12 dot dot it means it's nothing but 12 upon 99 so we learned four things. One is dot at bottom, one is dot at top, both are the decimals. Dot at between is nothing but the multiplication or the dot product. If you have in the decimal system or in the decimal notation dot at above, dot above any digit is nothing but reoccurring. So we have to solve this question. Generally, we write 2.6. This one is not actually 2.6. This is 2 into 6 and 12. If you have to write everything correct, you have to write 2.6 like this or 2.6 like this. So I hope up aage se thoda sa literacy ki tarah likhna start karoge. Ek pahe likhe maths ki tarah apne aap ko sochna start karoge. Anyway, so these are for the people who want to learn maths. Now I think you can solve this question. So we know this one is 18. Point is multiply 0 0.4 reoccurring. So we know this one is nothing but 0 0.4 reoccurring is nothing but 4 by 9. 
if we solve tuja and this one is nothing but 8 so the answer of this question is 8 so i hope you learned something about the basics of the maths hum questions solve karte hain we solve a lot of questions tough questions but we miss the basics these type of questions can come in your examination in the simplification and this is all about to know how many basics do you know so i hope clear hai so i'm going to give you a point for the doubt 4.68 and the 4-0.68 please i want post in the comment what is the difference between a and b and again how much literate you are in maths okay so god bless you happy learning stay tuned to learn so many things new things and the basics so that you can solve any tough questions if your basics are good you can solve any questions in your life god bless you happy learning and bye bye